hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding three attributes in Odoo that is required attribute read only and invisible attribute so as the name suggests invisible attribute is used to make something invisible and required attribute is to make a field value to be required and read only like the field will not be editable so we will discuss its use case and how we can use that in Uru 17 development so what i'll do is that inside our hms application here we have the patient model so what i'll do is that i'll add a two new fields one called is kid and if it is kid i need to make another field visible that is we will learn conditional attributes and like for example I, need, I, I may have to make a field invisible always or depending on another field value I, I have to make those field invisible so we will see that so what I'll do is that simply I'll introduce two new fields inside hospital dot patient model so that I'll go to the pie charm and inside custom add-on we have models folder and here we have defined the patient model so what I'll do is that I'll add a boolean field so I'm not sure we have learned that field yet let me search whether we have used it or not boolean yeah we haven't used it yet so i'll like it's a boolean field is a check like if you see yes or no field so i'll add a field called is kid or is minor then fields dot boolean boolean then i have to give a string i'll give the string as minor so i have just added a field and i'll add one more field called parent or guardian id i'll make a character field guardian field stored care then i'll give the string as who is the guardian of this kid so i just added two new fields to the model now what i have to do is simply i have to add those fields to the corresponding view so i'll go to the patient view.xml and here i have my form view so after gender or after date of birth field i'll put is minor field then i have to put the guardian field so i just added those two fields to the model and then to the views now i'll restart and let's upgrade the hms module so once the module is installed or upgraded the change will be reflected inside the database now if i come back to hospital patients let me open sam you can see we have two fields called minor and guardian so this is a character field which we have done similar to the name and this is the boolean field in odoo like we can put yes or no like this by it's a checkbox so this is the boolean field simply you have to do or define like this is minor equal to field store boolean then give a string so that's about the boolean field so what we were trying to discuss is about the invisible attribute so for example right now i have added the guardian field here let's assume i need to make it invisible so like you might think if you need to make it invisible we can just remove it from the form okay it can be done but in some cases we have to keep it in the view but we cannot remove directly so in such case what we can do is we get along with the field definition you can add invisible equal to one so or you can put invisible equal to true so let me search for the code both you can put invisible equal to true or one now if you upgrade so i think we don't need to upgrade as dev xml is passed in the cli now if i refresh i expect guardian to be invisible so you can see guardian is invisible because i have passed invisible equal to one here now if i change invisible attribute to read only that invisible will make the field invisible from the form right now i have changed it to read only equal to one so it is expected to come back but i cannot edit the field value right now you can see sam i can edit but this field is not editable so if you just enable debug mode and if you place the mouse over it you can see 
read only is coming as one that is the field is read only but you will not see read only attribute for this one now let's say i need to remove this read only attribute you can simply remove like this then the field will be editable so if i refresh now we can see the field is editable i can put the value over here now we have seen invisible read only and we have one more called required attribute required equal to one so required add is added here and now if i refresh i cannot save like if i try to create a new record this will be coming as required without providing value to this field i cannot create a new record so that's all about invisible required and read only attribute so invisible and invisible can be only used in XML level so for example if I need to make this a read only we have the field definition in Python so in Python also I can add read only equal to true so let's see what happens so I have set read only equal to true here now the change will not be reflect I have to upgrade because the Python change we need to upgrade the application like for example the case of field you have to upgrade so i have just added the which attribute read only equal to true now if i go to hms patients you can see the field is no more editable because this is read only at python level if you check at the view level we don't have any attribute set for the field but at python level i have set the field as read only equal to true now instead of read only you can put required equal to true which we already have tried for the name field so now if you put read only required equal to true the field will be editable but you have to like you can see without upgrading the changes are reflecting and now without passing the value you cannot save the record so either these attributes can be given at python side or at the view level now from the python side i'll remove this and let's play in the XML side so I think you have got a fair idea about how you can give the attribute but the thing is we need to discuss about the conditional attribute for example we have is minor here and guardian here so I need to make guardian field visible only if the is minor is ticked that is if this is not ticked this has to be invisible so I can add a condition over here invisible equal to instead of true invisible not is minor so I have just added a condition like this so here I'm saying invisible not if is minor is false let's make this invisible so let's refresh I just restarted and now let's refresh and see what happens so here you can see if I untick minor the guardian is getting invisible that is like if minor is ticked only the guardian field will be visible that is invisible when if minor is unticked that is is minor equal to equal to false then this field will be visible so that condition is successful now what I need to do if is minor is ticked I need to make it required that guardian has to be entered if the record is is minor so by putting a comma you can add your next condition that is required when is minor if is minor is ticked the field has to be required so I have just added that condition and let me refresh and now if i try to untick i can save if i enable this one i cannot save without providing the value for guardian you can see if i enable this the field will be getting required so if i reload you can see if i tick this one guardian has to be entered have to enter value like this so that's about the required attribute like conditional required attribute so this is the case of boolean for example if you have some selection fields 
or let's say a hard coded condition like you can put name equal to equal to test or you can add such condition here like required if name of the patient is test like that you can add different invisible condition so let me come back to the original condition now what i need to do i need to use read only attribute also so here we have gender so let me make a new field so what we can use for a particular gender male name we have date of birth for example if i'll record height of the patient so let me just add a float field height or let's say weight of the patient weight i'll put it as float field so i'm not sure whether we have discussed the float field so far so let me search for float yeah we already have used float field float string i'll give us weight so i just added a new field now i have to put it inside the corresponding view so after gender i'll put the weight field now let's refresh and see you will be getting error because you have to upgrade the application as you have introduced a new field that we have added a new field called weight so we have to upgrade the module now if you come back to hms sam is here you can see a new field is added now what i need to do is that if female is if gender is female i need to make this field read only so let's see how we can do that so what you have to do is that you have to add a read only condition for this field read only on what condition if gender equal to equal to female so i just added such a condition because if you check the field values female key is female so i'm saying here read only gender equal to equal to female so let me restart and let me refresh and see what happens so right now this is non editable if i change to male this can be edited now if i try to save your yeah, value is saving fine now if i put female yeah that's okay so we have learned about three different attributes that is read only that is conditional read only fields conditional invisible field and conditional required field in odoo so if you have any doubt in this one feel free to connect us in email that is odoomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in social medias like linkedin facebook twitter and instagram so that's it for the day wish you good luck